Hello everyone, Black Ninja here and welcome back to Fallout 3. Last time we finally left the vault over there with this ugly character and now we are going to continue our traveling through the wasteland. So for now I'm going to the um, to Megatown, uh, see if I can get some stuff there. Uh, what can I do more? Ooh. Radio station. What did I get? Radio, radio, radio. Galaxy News. No thanks. I prefer without music. Thank you. So. I'm going to Megatown. Trying to do some quests there. Figure out where my father went. Try not to die while jumping from here. Good. Enemies somewhere? Nope. Okay, so, ooh, that's a town, no, let's go, let's go, let's go to Megaton first, I want to do some quests here, I want to sell some shit to get some caps, um, I don't know, I want to see what can I do here, ooh, a giant end, oh, god dang it. Crazy Wolf Gang. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolf Gang's traveling. Sir or madam. The depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, okay. what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolf Gangs, offer to you? I have no idea. Uh, tell about your trade caravan. I scour the wasteland for the very best pieces of trash, the height of detritus. And the okay. veritable pick of the litter. It's all valuable to someone. And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. Okay, it seems like you have everything planned. Nothing but the highest quality. So let me check. What can I sell here? I can sell this shit. I don't use that. Apparel. Side glasses. Uh, I will keep this as a reminder. Oh, that I will keep this as a reminder as well. Jumpsuit. So I'm going to sell all this. I will sell all this as well. I will keep this one so I can so I can repair that one. Okay. I will keep this one because of the science. I will need the science later. Uh, I will need to read this. Purified water. What do you have? More. Masks of baseball. Baseball glove. That I can keep. Okay. Okay. And you. What the fuck do you have? Nothing. Ev just everything I sold you. Well, uh... Fuck. Nope. Oh, I don't want. No, no, no. Yeah, thank you. Now I can. Another exit. satisfied customer. Bye, bitch. I'm just here to protect. You. Why don't you look where you're going? The fuck? And on. Have yourself okay. a nice visit, partner. Okay, to Megatown. I'll be. And apparently my kitty's in my room. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff. Sheriff? Here too, when the need arises. Ooh. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Uh, nice town you have here, sheriff. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get of along course. just fine. Of course, my parents give me Meet manners. People nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm not an asshole. Message I'm received. Glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for my dad, motherfucker. Nope. Sorry, I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. Is that a nuke? I'd ask around town. Yeah, that's a nuke. Uh, let's discuss the what bomb. Don't you think someone should disarm I don't the bomb? Trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. 
And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Ooh, Adam. Me, Black. Why? Black Neil Adam. You got the see? know-how to disarm it? For good? Yeah, I can see I can disarm it for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Okay, I don't have speech enough, so... Should I should I be nice and say that I don't need a reward or accept the caps? Uh, I don't need a reward. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up. All right. No, maybe you can help well, me. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Of course. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. Moriarty or Moriarty? I think it's Moriarty. Uh, it's okay. called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. Oh, really? Why? Tell me more. What do you want to know? Uh, doctor, oh, I don't need this. Okay, I have to go. Okay, let me check how much is my science. Science, science, science. Science, 25. I think I can do it. But before I want to go talk at the saloon. Oh, this is the supply. This bitch, hey, this bitch is I hear insane. Stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Uh. Good to meet oh, you. Oh, you have a uniform. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply, but what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Okay. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd oh, be great shit. to have the this forward fucking book by a so vault annoying. dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I got plenty to say about life in the Great. vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Just calm down. Jesus. Okay. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll Maybe. be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Okay, sure, why not? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the waste, right? Yes. I could really use a compilation of good advice. Maybe. Like the Wasteland Survival Guide. Okay, you are that, nuts. I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Oh, Nobody's gosh. ever happy when that happens. Of course no, not. Then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Oh, really? Don't tell me, you fucking bitch. All right, then. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day to day dangers. Okay. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Oh, Ooh, God. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Uh, radiation. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning. So I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, really? 
Okay, we'll get to radiate it. Oh, you're a peach. And you are a bitch. At least some sort of hearty fruit. But that I need the money. Savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have no days. What? Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Oh, Just fine, make bitch. sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Okay, okay, jeez. Uh, I'll have to go now. Bye, bitch. She's insane. She's basically in fucking insane. Like, you, she will ask you to do some so fucking stupid shit just for her book that doesn't doesn't make any sense oh well hello no oh no but i know i'm looking for my dad yeah i remember that man i saw him talking to moriarty see it's hard to forget handsome men like that mm, ooh, lady killer look sweetie I love to spend some time with you, but I need to find my dad. Hmm, I'd love to spend time with you too. Yeah, with this ugly Look, person in uh, my I... car. Jesus! Get into the back office of this place. Moriarty keeps a terminal there. Everything you want is inside the terminal. Well, thank you. Here's the password to it. Too bad you're so young, kid. I could teach you some stuff you'd never forget. Then teach. Because I don't think that this a piece of junk. Every piece of poop. Can't I just drink in peace? I told you, God, it ain't the radio. The okay. on station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been oh. shit lately. Son of a bitch. Okay, and let me wait at least one hour. Why? Go away. Wait. Go away, Moriarty. You something or you just looking to get your ass beat? Work. Yes, go away. God damn it! Oh, for fuck's sake, Jesus! Seven hours! Finally! Jesus, I don't give a shit if I get residence. Uh, Jericho. Jericho's been a bad boy. I heard all of him and Jenny stalled. Tried to slip her to some of old gun barrel while she's yelling no. He's lucky the gun didn't go off or that would have given the Shulk clan something to crap their pants about. He thinks he's kind of a king of the hill. Walking around Megaton like he does all high and mighty, he tries to pull that sh shit with me and the Jenny accident goes public. Leo stalls. Never trust a junkie. That's what I have learned trying to deal with this piece of work. He wanders in here high, higher than a bird in flight and tries to make it with Nova. She slaps him silly after he didn't want to play. The good girl. Good girl. I almost kick him out myself, but he staggered out of no of here. Sorry. That game may just be the straw I need to break Andy's back. Andy straw. This guy is a real piece of work. Opening a fucking bar in my town. What a jackass. I swear, he's up to something. I'm going to have to think a way to reduce his business a little. For now, at least, I still got my secret weapon. Nova, best ref refreshment in town. Okay, that's stupid, but okay. Uh, sorry, this is what Billy Creel. That Mooka Cola swilling prick paradigm this little. His little daughter Maggie around for all to see like a proud father. Yeah, right. Founder wandering the wasteland, my my left ass cheek. What? I bet old Billy fed Maggie's parents that buckshot sandwich himself that had to the little girl to this trophy. Collection in that shit hole he calls a home. He better keep my I better keep my own eye on it. God dang us Doc. Just thinks he's such a freaking badass. Everyone runs to him if they get a damn wood splinter and he just slaps up laps up their caps like a drunk drowning alcohol. <laughs>